swear, sometimes I forget where they record. Oh! Oh, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Bailey, and today I'm going to do the what is on my iPhone video slash iPhone case collection because I don't really have that much and you know both go hand in hand so why not film a video together um so yeah let's get started uh this is my iPhone it's a white iPhone 5s and it is gold in the background I don't know if you can see but yeah that's it so my background is of these daisies that I really liked and just unlocking my phone the cool way Woo! So on the first page I have all the boring apps like App Store, Calculator, Calendar, it's February 25th in case anyone was wondering. Um, camera, which I don't really use a lot, I sort of just like go like that and then, you know, click on the camera. Um, then there is Contacts, FaceTime, iTunes Store, Mail, Maps. Newsstand, notes I do use, I write like video ideas, birthdays, movies, my thoughts, songs, TV shows, random ideas, and then just kind of venting. Um, then I have phone, photos, um, I have a lot of photos, 2,388 to be exact, and they're all mainly screenshots of Snapchats and text posts, I mean, relatable. Then I have newsstand, safari, settings, weather, videos, and then my phone folder which has all the apps I never use like stocks, voice memos, passbook, um, game center, compass, podcast, tips, health, iBooks, and then I do use clock. I use it for some of my alarms sometimes and um, a stopwatch or a timer. but. Mostly these apps go unused. The next page, however, I do use a lot. Um, first is Afterlight, which is an editing app that I use. So you pick a picture, so... Okay, we'll choose a beautiful selfie of my friend. And then if you want your phone to have like a shape on it, um, I usually do the two white lines. You could have make it like a square, you know? You could do a circle, oval, all these different kinds of shapes, but I'm just gonna stick with the white lines. Then at the bottom here you have a series of tabs. You have the edit, undo button, this tab which is like contrast, brightness, exposure, all like fancy shit. <laughs> then you have the filters tab which I use all the time. Uh, so I'm just gonna choose one that I've been really liking lately, this Glenn filter. Wow. And you know, you can also give it some artsiness by doing these light tab. We're gonna add a random streak of light because God knows that used to be popular. So, you know, like, wow, nice. And then at the top, you just click done. You could do camera roll or Instagram. You could share it a bunch of other places. Then I have Ask FM, which I hardly ever use anymore, but it's basically this anonymous asking thing where you're asking for trouble. So, this is mine, um, as you can see, uh, not the best thing, but if you want to ask me questions, it's barely let's 1128, so yeah. Uh, then I have Aviary, it's another editing app that I'm not really going to show. If you want a how I edit my photos video, um, just make sure to leave a comment down below. Then I have Facebook, which, uh, it's stupid. <laughs> Um, followers, which shows who unfollows you. Um, I have my Instagram hooked up to it, my other Instagram, my Vine, my Tumblr, and my Facebook and my Twitter all hooked up to it. And yeah, you can see who unfollows you, blocks you, that kind of stuff. And I have Photo Rust, which is a collage making app that I use for birthdays sometimes. The Google app, um, Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest is Bay. And you can follow me. My username is blutz1128. Then I have um, Photo Vault, which is you can lock up, it's like locking up your camera roll. Then I have my period tracker. <laughs> Every girl has one. Uh, Shazam. Shazam is a really cool app. If um, there's a song playing and I want to hear it, I just tap Shazam 
and it usually works nine out of ten times. Okay, stop. <laughs> uh, then I have Spotify. I freaking love Spotify. Um, you guys can go check out my amazing playlists. Uh, my account is blats1128. And yeah, you know, some good songs. <laughs> uh, then I have Time Up, which is another really cool app. It shows you what you posted a year ago with like Twitter or Instagram. It does a year ago, um, two years ago, and three years ago. Then I have Tumblr. Okay, this is my Tumblr. It's Wonderful Lust. Um, you guys can go and follow me. Then I have Twitter. I'm obsessed with Twitter. I'm tweeting all of the time. My Twitter is Bailey underscore Lutz. So go ahead and follow me. Then I have Vine. Vine's Bay. I think I read Vine. Pretty funny things. So, and my Vine is Bailey Amber. And then I have Winello, which is just a shopping app. Um, Wattpad, which I used to read fan fiction. 8 Tracks, which is kind of like Spotify, but you can choose sort of a mood. So you do search and then just say I'm feeling like happy. Um, Okay, look, so you click like happy, just say happy, um, upbeat, all these, um, playlists come up to go with your feelings. Then I have YouTube, obviously you know what that is. Okay, and then on this page I have the app Impulses, which is this really cool anonymous diary app. You basically just say how you feel and people can like it, oops, ads. Are cool too and you can like people's statuses you know or not um true 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 no <laughs> but yeah finally I have the app memoir which is exactly kind of like time hop but um yeah it's exactly like time hop but just a little better Okay, then at the bottom of my screen are the apps I use the most, um, messages, Instagram, which you can definitely follow me on, it's baileyletz underscore, and, uh, I like my Instagram. Then I have Snapchat, and then I have music, and I don't really listen to music on here anymore, but, you know, I still have 396 songs, so, <laughs> and yeah, that's basically my iPhone. So these are my iPhone cases. There's ah iPhone cases. Um, to start off on my phone uh, is this. I don't know what pattern you would call this, but I guess like not Aztec, but along those lines. And I got this on Amazon, and it's just a hard plastic case. Second one I have is this blue and white um, hard iPhone case. It's like clear on the sides and it's, you know, has a texture to it. Um, I also got this one from Amazon. Next I have my four Victoria's Secret rubber phone cases that I got from Pink. And each of these was about $12, sometimes like $16 depending on the actual case. Um, the first one I have is black and white Aztec and just says pink in neon pink at the bottom. This one you can't really tell because it looks white here. It's actually like the same color as my room. So like um, a sort of turquoise color and it's zebra and it just is pink right there. This one's probably one of my favorites. It's um, neon green and black and it says I hate running on it. And then my last one is this really big black and white phone case and it says pink. Um, in just really big letters. Then I have sort of my like protective phone cases. Uh, the first one I have is an actual like life proof case with like a clear film over it and you could literally put this in water or ice and supposedly your phone will break. I don't know how true that is but you know if you want to give it a shot. Um, these are like $86 so not the cheapest phone case but it is really protective to your phone as far as if you drop it most likely it won't crack. Um, I also have this OtterBox one. Um, it's green and gray and uh, this one is very protective as well but you can't put it in water because water will seep through the holes and kill your phone. 
Then I have another OtterBox one. This one is hard in the back and then sort of like soft in the front. Uh, it comes in two parts, these two parts, and you just stick it in and stick it on your phone. I don't really like this case because it's really hard to get off and on your phone and as you can see I already cracked it from trying to do that. And then finally I have this literal um, really boring phone case, sort of like a starter phone case. Like it's like soft black on the sides and then clear right there. Uh, not the most exciting phone case but you know one of them. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my what's on my iPhone tag and my um, phone case collection. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, you know, helps me out. And make sure to comment, uh, subscribe to me, and yeah, I'll see you all next video. Bye guys. Hey guys. Oh fuck, I was holding the phone. Well, good.